We are cruising through Maryland, making a pretty short drive from Baltimore to D.C. Uh, check out D.C. for a few days. Never been. Should be cool. Ooh, wood floors, nice. Okay. Nice. I like it. All the wood. Okay, pretty nice bathroom. Pretty good score for the price. This only ran me about a hundred bucks a night, so. Great location. I'm like two blocks from the White House, heading there now. And yeah, I've never even been here before, so we're gonna see all the main sites, plus some extra bonus stuff. I already did one tour. It's gonna make it into the video later, but pretty badass. There is my first look at the White House in all of its whiteness. Starting out up here on the north side of the building work our way around it and toward the National Mall. First of many cool memorials. Rochambeau, Jean Baptiste, one of the French generals that bailed us out in the Revolutionary War. It's right across from this behemoth of a building. Looks to be the Eisenhower Executive Building. There's this thing, whatever that is. It's sarcastic, of course. Everyone knows the Washington Monument. It is the tallest building in D.C., too. They started building it in 1848, but six years later they had to stop for 23 years. When they finally came back to finish it, they had to use stones from a different source. Still to this day, see the very obvious change in the style of stones, that change where they had to halt construction for all those years. Just down the way, U.S. Capitol building, just due east from the Washington Monument. However, we're not going to be heading there just yet. We're actually going to be heading this way. Got to pay my respects to old Mr. Lincoln. En route to Lincoln, this really cool fountain here at the World War II Memorial. What a nice little crowd. Let's see why. All this stonework around here is really cool. People stopping to take their photos. Working our way down to Lincoln. Here are the cicadas. Those things are flying around everywhere. I've looked up a lot of YouTube videos from this area. And this pool is often empty. I don't know if it's under construction or renovating, or maybe it's like a weather thing, but not nearly as scenic with this big shallow hole in the ground. I'll we'll admit it's not the prettiest water, but you know, there's ducks swimming in it. Adds a nice ambiance. And at this end of the pool is where many a great speech has been given. Not only Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, but in that memorable scene in Forrest Gump where he tells everyone about the war. The one in Vietnam. Hey, here we go. There he is. The man that was born meager means in Illinois. Rose up to become a lawyer and then president change the world, sign the Emancipation Proclamation. And here they've got his Gettysburg Address. And on the other side is his inaugural address. Actually, it's his second one. This is the one he gave just before the Civil War ended. Mostly about how to reunite the states after they'd been more divided than at any point in history, even today. Over here behind the Lincoln Memorial, Couple of pretty cool bridges crossing over the Potomac. Just on the other side is Virginia. It's 
river really symbolizes that division between the north and south, quite literally. To check out the next big memorial. This one's cool too, I'm really excited to see it. This thing is just amazing to stand in front of. And it's quite inspirational. Martin Luther King, set in stone, 30 feet high. Just amazing. You could argue nobody in American history has done more for civil rights. Voting rights, labor rights, desegregation, and accomplished a ton at risk of his very own livelihood. Accomplished it all before he ever even turned 40. Working our way around the lake, still got some more memorials to check out. Next up, FDR. Oddly tiny likeness of FDR, it was probably life size, but even if his statue is small, FDR will always be known as the man that got us out of the Great Depression. There's a statue commemorating the old bread line. That's more like it. Properly sized likeness of FDR. I mean, I know it's not to scale, but some of these men were bigger than life. Up there with his little Scottish Terrier. Pretty famous dog. Probably the only dog I know of that has his own Wikipedia page. Man, I can a lot of cool sights off the list today though. Man, there's a lot to see here. Getting a lot done though. There's so many cool memorials, historic sites, speech locations, just you name it. About to see one more. Whoa! Low bridge. Low bridge and mud. Oh, made it. Anyway. About to see one more epic memorial. It's another real good one. Thomas Jefferson. There's a look at that 30 foot MLK way over there. Across the water. Ridden down along this way. Just crossed that bridge. Heading over here. Jefferson Memorial. bit of construction going on in the building. This is the man that almost single-handedly drafted the entire Declaration of Independence. Those words came out of this man's head. Also the third president. He's the man who organized the Louisiana Purchase and then promptly kicked out every native that lived there. And uh, although he was a slave owner, in fact, he fathered many children with some of his slaves, uh, he did sign into effect an act that prohibited the importation of new slaves. So, you know, he kind of he got the ball rolling a little bit. Damn, that's a nice lawn. Landscape in here is just really quite beautiful. This museum I'm really hoping to check out. This is the Holocaust Memorial Museum. It just reopened from COVID. I've got to get a reservation. I'll try my best. Back over by the Washington Monument. Got a nice little array of food trucks over here. Check that out. Oh man, sweet spread of food trucks out here. Oh, I'm back on keto again, so I have to opt out this time. Got myself a ice cold bottle of water though from these gentlemen. Guy with the cooler back there selling dollar waters. Got to support that. Heck of a deal, can't beat it. Literally ice in it, and it's so hot today. Oh, it's so hot today and muggy. I probably lost five pounds just in sweat. Man, all you can hear are those freaking bugs. I've gotten lucky so far. I'm just on the bike in shorts and I haven't touched one yet. But it'll swarm up on me. I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. Cool old churches. Some of them are converted into museums, I think. Oh man, yeah, look at this. Ooh, kind of deserted part of town too. I'm like the only guy riding through here. Oh yeah, it's a museum, National Museum. I 
swear I've seen half a dozen pieces. Not exactly like that, but close enough. I don't know, is there just not enough diversity in abstract art? Everybody has to do red beams of steel. It's weird. Anywho, working our way to the U.S. Capitol. There are a lot of ice cream trucks here. In fact, you really can't escape the music from them. Kind of inching toward annoying. In front of the Capitol is the Ulysses Grant Memorial. The great Civil War general shrined out here. Quite a sight. Old U.S. Capitol. Always knew I'd see it one day. And on a year it was violently insurrected upon. God, how many people get to say that? Only those of us who came here in 2021 or 1814. Nobody else. Can't forget you. Pretty cool fountain display over here, not too far from the Capitol Dome. Ah, oh, kind of tempted to jump in there right now. Whew! Ah, oh, back in the room. Man, it's tremendously hot outside. It's so muggy. I can't even remember the last time I sweat this much. Whew! Brutal. But, got the room ready. Oh. Oh, heaven. There's nothing like an ice cold, light American beer. It's just so, it's almost like water. It's like, a, it's as refreshing as ice cold water. Only it's beer. Give me a little buzz after a couple of them. All right, cooled off a bit, hydrated. Did have some water as well. Chugged a whole bunch of it, in fact. Ready for round two. Stop and check out these protesters first. Biden! That's an awesome shirt. That is hilarious. <laughs> Can't come to DC and completely escape politics, but that's good to see folks out exercising their right. Yeah, those protesters, they were upset about what's going on in Palestine right now with Israel and Netanyahu. A lot of folks not too happy with him at the moment. I will say that whole family and fuck Trump shirts, that kind of made my day. That was pretty awesome. Man, it just started pouring rain outside. Oof, I'm in flip-flops. I'm not ready. Taking some shelter with Mr. Lincoln. Yeah, the rain really cleared out the sidewalks. This area was pretty crowded a few minutes ago. And now it's pretty much deserted. Pretty funny, there's almost nobody in here. He's standing outside, waiting for the rain to end. Um. Hell of a season, pal. Freaking love Wedding Crashers. Such a good one. Rain has let up a bit. It's not pouring, but... You can see it is still coming down. Good news is it's it's not the least bit cold. It's just wet. And it did really clear out. The, oh my god, there's some real fresh ones. They're still yellow. Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh, let's go this way. Yeah, it's definitely a good little rain though. It's I'm getting I'm getting pretty wet. I cannot figure out the East Coast. One minute, it is insanely hot and just humid, sticky and miserable. And the next, people are huddling for shelter to escape the rain. I don't even understand how that's a thing, but apparently it is in most of the world, just not in California. 
Uh, damn. I've been trying to get a shot of some of these cicadas. They're pretty camera shy and move around too quick, but here's one there next to my foot for scale. I think I'm gonna take a cue from these lazy lions out here. Go chill out for a bit. I am beat. Got plenty more to see tomorrow, so be sure to check out my channel.